Everyone, please welcome our beloved cast member, Lauren, who is coming up to the desk tonight to show us her new invention. Hey, Lauren, let's see what you got. Hi, JT. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really proud of this one. Wow, that looks like it could be the coolest thing since sliced bread. Oh, That's it! I've heard enough of this! Uh, I'm sorry. What? What are you talking about? I am a devout fan of the bi-weekly show. I am in the audience every other week. I'm a big fan of the cast member with the curly brown hair. She is very funny, but sir, you have crossed the line. Uh, what's happening? I am Nedson Wonderbread the fifth, the inventor of sliced bread as you know and love and take it for granted for today. It, you're still alive? As long as the bi-weekly show exists, I plan to have a seat in the audience, but not anymore. I am so confused. You said that Lauren's invention was the greatest thing since sliced bread, and I will hear no more of your outright slander toward my invention, which could be surpassed by no other. There is nothing better than sliced bread, and I will prove it so. Uh, you're gonna prove it? I will prove it! Now move, you amateur. Oh. Ouch. Get out okay. of here. Take wow. your rubber duck. Hi, Lauren. Cool. Okay, well, calm down, Nedson. Calm down? Calm down? There is nothing calm about sliced bread. It's revolutionary. It fits perfectly into a toaster, goddammit. I, I think toasters were created after sliced bread. Blasphemous! What do you think they used to toast bread? An open flame? An oven? Yeah, actually. Well, you would be absolutely wrong. I'm sure the audience remembers the days where cramming baguettes into toasters was the only option. Thanks to me, toaster clogs are a thing of the past. Yeah, and I bet you needed a toilet plunger to get rid of them. I eradicated the necessity for that invention with my genius. I mean, look at it. Look at how slender. Yeah, that's bread, all right. Your derogatory remarks are decidedly not funny. Hey, don't tell me what's funny and what isn't funny. You don't see me coming to your bakery and telling you how to bake bread. I don't bake it, I slice it! Oh, okay, just don't dish it out if you can't take it. I slice it, I said, I prepare it to be dished. Nobody has respect for me, that much is clear. And even here at the bi-weekly show where I felt nothing but love for the past 20 years. Dude, I've literally never seen you before. Friends only hug you so they can stab you in the back while doing it. <laughs> Let me guess, with the same knife you used to cut the bread. I'll have you know that knife is in the satellite location of the Inventors Hall of Fame, located in Tumbleweed, Oklahoma, a two-hour train ride away from the infamous city of Tulsa. Okay, I'll have to visit sometime. Everyone should, you uneducated buffoons. Oh, boo you, you incompetent Cretans. Take oh. my bread. Oh, whoa, Net, Natson, 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 stop, please. You just, uh, you had all that bread with you? I mean... I'm not gonna carb shame. Okay, well, you know what? Sliced bread is the best invention of all time and nothing could ever compare. Thank heavens he's come to his senses. Lauren's new project can and will never be as great as sliced bread. Well, I mean, that did look pretty cool though. Is Lauren still here? Could we maybe have her come back on? It was a rubber duckling! Okay, well, I mean, it's pretty cool though. There, come on, the invention. You have lost a bi-weekly show viewer tonight. I hope you think of me as you snack on your toast and jam tomorrow morning. Oh, well, that was odd. Uh, and now we're out of time and I need to invest in a watch. Now that would be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh my God! We'll be right back. <laughs>